today is going to be the best day ever. I love sunshine, I love butterflies, but more than anything, I love Doug. Hey! Shut the fuck up! Fucking piece of shit. That's Doug, the best owner in the world. Sounds like a little bedroom. We're playing this game called Fetch and Fuck. Fetch! He drops me off really far away and drives home without me. When I bring the ball back, he says, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I know I won the game. Hey, honey, you ever been with an Afghan before? I don't think so, but thank you. Take it from me, kid. He left your ass. No, that can't be right. You are officially a straight. That would mean Doug doesn't love me. Poor little guy. I should probably talk to him. I am a therapy dog. If you do breads, you can learn how beautiful it can be when you're off the leash. That's like Jamie Foxx. making me dizzy. It's about to get real dizzy up in this bitch. I'm having a great time. This motherfucker right here. What you want? Huh? Let's Homie, go. you little bitch ass friend with the motherfucking home perm and shit. What did you just say? Hey, you I would hate for this to get violent. You were straight. You can do anything you want. I'm going back to Doug's. What? The fuck, man. And he needs to pay for what he did with the only thing he truly loves. I'm gonna bite his dick off. Oh. Wait, did he just say bite? Yeah, I, I'm still a little drunk, but... I you know. said, I'm gonna bite his dick off. Oh, we gonna fuck shit up. They don't know me like that. Big day today. You ever humped anything before? I wouldn't say I've humped, per se. There you go, Red. I'm doing good. Tell it known you're his daddy. Hey, Noam, I'm your father. It's good to finally meet you, <laughs> even under these strange circumstances. <laughs> Red. 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 And my little puppy paw pads are really hurting right now. So how exactly could this get worse? Oh, 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 holy <laughs> We've got a dick to rip off. We all know me like that. What are those? Kinda looks like food. Oh shit. Uh, give me a sec. You look different. Shit, you look different too. How so? Is it my human hands? <laughs> Oh, Phil Lord and Chris Miller have done it once again, made a film that looks like they were high while, while writing it. Not much you can say about that, it's exactly what you would expect from Phil Lord and Chris Miller to write and produce, and I don't know if they're directing it, but they're known notoriously for Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse and Into the Spider-Verse. They are also known for 21 and 22 Jump Street, they're also known for Star Wars uh, Solo, and um, yeah, just... This just looks ridiculous. I, I never would have thought in my entire lifetime I'd see an R-rated movie about talking dogs. Now, uh, now I've I've watched like a lot of movies back in the days. Like I think one of them was Cats and Dogs, which came out in the early two thousands. That was like my childhood film that I used to watch on VHS. But now the fact that I'm seeing a R-rated version, we had R-rated Muppets. Now we got R-rated Talking Dogs. So yeah, I, I love an I love animals and movies about animals, and especially if they're R-rated, the extent you can go in creativity is ridiculous. So I am looking forward to it. It's coming out in the summer. Why would you want to watch a R-rated dog talking film? Like it's. It looks great. It, it's fun. I like it. And also the fact that you got Will Ferrell, you got Jamie Foxx, and I think you've got quite a big list of celebrities, I'm assuming so, because everyone did sound very familiar. Uh, I probably have to check it online. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to see it coming out this summer. Hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the reaction. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think, because this might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I love a ridiculous R-rated film, especially in the summer. And hopefully I get to see you in my next video. 